what is up you guys so as you can tell by today's video title i am going to be meeting my best friend sydney over at sydney page books today and i literally could not be happier i don't think i have literally been dying for this we planned this like months and months and months ago and we have literally just been keeping a secret this whole time and it's been really fun but it's also been a struggle for me to keep a secret so the secret is out we are meeting up so the backstory is basically that jonathan and i had to be in atlanta georgia for a wedding for his best friend jonathan was the best man so we had to be in georgia and sydney lives in alabama so i was like you know what what if Jonathan and I just extended our stay and met up at like a halfway point with Sydney and her husband Riley and so we are going to be meeting up with them in Chattanooga Tennessee I am super super excited about this um Jonathan and I are about to get ready to leave the hotel um that we're staying at for the wedding we have to check out I think it like I don't even know what time, but we're about to leave. Um, we're pretty much packed up, and then we are going to start heading that way and probably grab some lunch or something. We're not meeting up with Sydney and her husband, Riley, until three at the Airbnb. We're gonna be staying in an Airbnb together, you guys. It's gonna be like a whole sleepover kind of thing. I'm super excited. Um, we are going to be reading our book club picks together and doing some sprints. Um, it's going to be really fun. Actually, tonight we are going to be going live on YouTube to do some sprinting. And Sydney and I will be in the same frame. So I'm super, super excited. Um, but yes, so that is basically the gist of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. But let's go to Chattanooga, Tennessee and get some lunch because I'm hungry. We did it. We bet. <laughs> we did it. Um, Sydney's doing her makeup because we're gonna go live in like an hour. Is it seven already? Is it? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I have no it's, idea. My Apple Watch is. It dead. is seven oh nine. Seven oh nine. So we have fifty one minutes until we tell you guys that we are together. <laughs> if half of you even get it, we're also ordering a pizza. Jonathan is making. Ojitos. We are living up vacation currently, and I don't know if we have any other plans for tonight. We don't even really have our plans for tomorrow either. Oh, and Benji, <laughs> you have to meet. You have to see Benji. Benji's here. Benji. <gasps> Say hi to the people, Benji. <laughs> he's like, no. I do this all the time. Yeah, he's like, what are you talking about? I'm already. Famous. <laughs> okay, so we are currently sprinting. You guys know the surprise now. I really feel weird that I'm vlogging and you guys can actually see me on the sprints right now, but I don't want to just walk out of the frame and be rude, so I'm just going to deal with this okay, embarrassment. <laughs> You're so little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm about to read, but I don't know which one I want to read. I'm going to be reading the book club picks this week, by the way. Um, and I think I'm just going to extend this vlog until I finish these books. Um, and then Sydney is just like the sweet treat of this vlog. So <laughs> she's like, I don't know. Um, but I don't know which one to read. So I think I'm going to read a chapter, like the first chapter of both and then decide because I have no idea because I'm slumpy too. And I feel like a slow burn romance might not be it for me. So we're going to find out right now.
Okay, Spanish love is not it. It's, I can't. I only got to page two and I just, I'm, not, that's not the one right now. Later, but <laughs> we're gonna move on to the Chewie's Gone and I'm gonna stick with this one, I think. Okay, so it is the next day and I just realized that I never showed you guys the house. So I thought I'd give you like this quick house tour before we leave. We are gonna be going to some bookstores today, obviously. What else would we do? Um, and then we're just gonna be going around like downtown Chattanooga and just like walk around, see if there's anything to do. And then we'll come back to the house and we have some other things planned, but we'll get to that later. Let's just, I'm just gonna show you the house. This is the front door, okay? You walk into the front door and you have like this little set up right here the wi-fi password and stuff <laughs> and the living room it's really cute and then sydney and i stuck our <laughs> books up there oh this is the first bedroom neither of us are staying in this one but this is so cute like boho yeah. sorry that it's so dark but like got some boho black white green the woods brown. I love that chair actually. I didn't even notice that. And then, Benji, come on. I don't want to close you in the room. Okay. Um, and then this, all this dog stuff is provided, which is so cool. Um, dining table. I just love the vibes in this whole house. Jonathan came with the house. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> some plants. This little like nook space, which I think is so cute. And this hallway this is where Jonathan and I are staying so just disregard the mess but this is our room it was super cute when the bed was made <laughs> and we have a mirror and then the bathroom literally this house is just themed so well okay so you know just shower curtain some towels you have like the the shelving set up another mirror just super cute. Okay. And this is like a alcohol themed shelf. This is the kitchen, which is super cute. I need this kitchen and that those shelves. I want those in my, my house. And a coffee bar, which we have already accessed. They even have like syrups to put in your coffee like they are just well prepared um this we're not allowed to go in apparently there's a code <laughs> and then laundry room this is the back door to the backyard oh the backyard doesn't really have anything it's just dirt there's a cute little patio though okay i'm not gonna close the door <laughs> And then there's another bathroom. This one's cute too. Very nice, very nice. And then one more bedroom. And I think that's the whole house. Benji also really loves Jonathan. They've become like best friends on this trip, which I think is so cute. Um, but yeah, so that's the house, nothing. Nothing too fancy, but it is a very cute house. Um, okay, I now we are going to leave hopefully soon. I think we're just waiting on <laughs> Riley. I think he's had to change his clothes because Sydney was like, it's going to be cold, <laughs> so change your clothes. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go to some bookstores. I think we're going to more of like a local bookstore. It's called like the Book and Cover or something. Um, and then we're going to go to like the Barnes & Noble that is here and just see the difference in like our Barnes and Nobles to like this one um so yeah I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of books maybe like two or three max um I'm really just going for the vibes so that's the plan at least for the morning so we are going to go to the bookstore and then see you guys later
so we just got out of the bookstore cutest bookstore ever like seriously number one bookstore but i got um the deal by l kennedy it's just time and then i also got the graphic novel version of the great gatsby one of my favorite books and i've never seen a graphic novel version so i got it and i got house of Thieves. so that's the update for now we're gonna go to barnes noble now Okay, we're here to update what we got from the bookstore. I already talked about these two, so we're not gonna talk about those. But we went to Barnes & Noble and Second & Charles, and at Barnes & Noble I got House of Leaves and Verity. And then at Second & Charles I got Station Eleven, so I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna read this, but. I, just... I also got Station Eleven at Second & Charles. <laughs> Buddy Reed to come. <laughs> And then at Barnes & Noble, I got Near the Bone by Christina Henry and My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. I don't know if I've heard of... You haven't? Wait, maybe I have. I feel like you have. Is there a different cover for it? Um, It's white, the other cover. Yes, okay, then yes. The other cover is white. But yeah, so that's the books that we got. And now I think we're about, are we gonna paint? Is that the? That's the plan, we're gonna paint something. Yeah, that'll be fun. I forgot I was recording too. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna paint. Painting montage. Go. <laughs> Riley made us some mac and cheese for dinner. Cheers. <laughs> and I think we're gonna watch a movie. All right, it is the last like morning of our trip. So to end our trip as like our finale, also, sorry about this lighting. I don't know why it's being like this. Um, we have decided to go to a cute little coffee shop this morning called Together Cafe. Um, it just looks really cute honestly we're going off of looks right now because we need to take more pictures um but yeah so we're gonna go to the coffee shop i'm seriously so sad about our trip ending but i think we might try and take another vacation at some point um together because we just had so much fun like we all got along really well um the hubs got along really well they actually surprised me at how much they had in common um so it really was just a fabulous trip but it's not quite over so we're gonna go to the coffee shop have some coffee and breakfast together and just enjoy our last few hours together Say goodbye and Harper. Not to be. <laughs>
<laughs> it's okay, just like a few more months, right? Cameraman. <laughs> we gotta remember the cameraman, okay? They're important. <laughs> the real <laughs> We bowed to each other. <laughs> Hello, you guys. It's the next day. Um, we drove all day yesterday. Um, we got home around like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I was just absolutely exhausted from being in the car all day. Um, so I didn't do like any reading or updates for you guys yesterday um, But I did just want to like conclude the trip. This is not the end of the vlog, but concluding the trip I seriously had the like best time with Sydney and Riley and I'm so excited for more vacations and meetups with them because they're amazing like just genuine people like just they were just, they're just great. Um, Jonathan and I have so much in common with the both of them, which is great for us because we don't really have like a lot of, I don't want to say like we don't have a lot of friends, but like we don't have a lot of people our age in our season of life around us. Um, everybody is like older than us. Um, so it's really, really nice to like have friends that we can relate with that are also close to our age but it was a really really great trip i had the best time and i am honestly really surprised <laughs> in some ways like i did expect some moments to be like awkward because sydney and i hadn't met like in person yet we had just like facetimed and texted and collabed and all of that um so we're like we're best friends but we never like met like in person person and I was kind of nervous that it was going to be a little bit awkward and there were going to be like some really weird moments but we didn't have like any of that um which was amazing and surprised me because I don't know I just expected like it to be a little bit weird and then I expected there to be some and then I expected there to be like some awkward moments between like Jonathan and Riley because they had never even met like like really at all um but they got along so well like they were talking about their star wars theories and i mean just all kinds of stuff like they really did like get like they just related so well which was great for sydney and i because um we know we were going to get along but it was like if the like are the dudes gonna get along kind of thing um but yeah it was it was an amazing trip and i'm super super excited for our next trip i'm hoping that we'll do something again like in the summer and maybe like they'll travel to florida maybe and we'll have like some beach time in the summer i feel like that would be really fun um but yeah so that that was the trip i hope that was entertaining for you guys to watch because we were so excited about it and we have been like hiding that secret for months at this point um but i did want to talk about reading because this vlog is going to continue as long as I'm still reading the book club picks. Um, I'm on page 58 of Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. I'm actually really enjoying this. I'm enjoying the timeline shifts. So like we're following like after Ellie has disappeared and then we were following like a little bit before Ellie had disappeared. Um, so we're getting to see kind of like different chain of events which is keeping it really entertaining. Um, the writing is really easy to read. I have read stuff or a book by Lisa Jewell. I read The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell and really enjoyed it. Um, so I knew I was going to enjoy the writing as far as that goes. Um, but the story is really entertaining so far and I'm really loving that we're only getting like, we're getting just enough info to like keep us on our toes and keep us interested. But like, I still have no idea like what is going on. Obviously I have theories, but you never know. Um, yay, the sun is coming out. Okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, really enjoying this. I am hoping to read a good bit of this today. It is only, um, it's only 12, 11 and I don't have to be anywhere until like, I have to leave the house at like 5.30 ish. I'm going to go babysit my nephew tonight. So I have a few hours, definitely enough time to finish the book if I really do it. I don't know if I'll do that though. I'm not really sure. Um, but I am absolutely starving. I haven't eaten anything and I've been up since 8.30. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the plan for the day. I also at some point need to fold two baskets worth of laundry because I'm horrible at laundry. So I need to do that. Um, and then... That should be it.
hello you guys um, I don't even remember the last update that I gave you. Um, I went to the beach this morning to read, as you guys saw. Also, I hate this new bronzer that I'm using because it just looks so orange on my face. Um, so, just disregard. Um, but I finished Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. And I think I'm going to give it four stars. It was good. I thought the plot twist was really great, although I saw it coming. But yeah, it was still really good. I thought that some of the pacing was kind of weird, and also there were some moments in the book, that things that were said that was just really cheesy and I couldn't vibe with. So, um, for that reason, it'll get four stars, but that's still a great rating. That means that I still really, really enjoyed it, and I totally would recommend it. Um, but yeah, so I did finish this. I'm feeling a little bit less stressed now, and I have started The Spanish Love Deception. I am currently on page 30, um, and that one I'm enjoying too. Um, it isn't hooking me as quick as this was hooking me because it's a thriller, so it reads a little bit differently. Um, I'm about to go to my parents' house to hang out with them for a little bit before my mom and I will go to what's called sisters night at our church so like all of the women like the adult women in our church will get together and we do this like little gathering event fun shenanigan thing um so we're gonna be going to that um so yeah and then I think I'll come back after that and probably get some more reading done um but as of right now that is what I'm headed off to do but I will see you guys when I get back Hi, you guys. I'm in the car. We're actually about to go to the beach for a little bit. I don't know how long we're going to be there, but I did bring Spanish Love Deception, and I do plan on listening to the audiobook and reading this at the same time while I'm there. Um, I am on page 116, so I'm making my way through this book. I'm actually really, really proud of myself. Um, it's okay. Um, I'm not super loving it, which makes me a little bit nervous that I'm just not gonna like it. But yeah, all of my pages like keep falling out. I don't know if you can see like the differences in the height of the pages over here but my pages are like falling out of my book so my book is damaged so I'm returning it to Amazon and I'm just gonna get money back for it instead of trying to get a new one because once I read it if it's not my favorite I don't feel the need to keep it yeah that's the plan um, I have my matcha that I got because I was falling asleep um, I actually forgot headphones so I'm gonna have to go grab those really quick um, but yeah that's the plan we are going to head for the beach and just have a really relaxing time Okay, really, really quick, you guys. Um, it is Sunday. It is the day of the live show, and I still have not finished Spanish Love Deception. I'm freaking out a little bit. Um, I have like three and three to three and a half hours left of the audiobook, and it's currently like three o'clock, and the live show is at seven. So I'm definitely going to be cutting it close, but I'm about to go downstairs, put some headphones in, listen to the audiobook, crank it out while working on some of my bullet journal spreads for the month of March. So that's the plan, but definitely going to be cutting it close, but I think, I think we can do it. So let's go listen to the audiobook and do some journal spreads. Hey vlog! What up vlog? Hey! Can you actually put this in the vlog? <laughs> okay, editing Janelle here and I am just here to close out the vlog because apparently I did not create an end clip. Um, as far as my thoughts go on Spanish Love Deception, I am rating it 2.5 stars. I did not love it as much as everybody else loves it. Um, I thought it was very repetitive and I felt like it was supposed to take place in Spain. 
Spain more because that's what the synopsis told us. Um, and then I felt like we weren't in Spain enough. And I also didn't think that the characters were likable. I was cringing a lot. So I just was not my kind of book. Um, but I know a lot of people did love it. If you want to hear more thoughts, like in-depth thoughts, you can watch the live show that is up on Sydney's channel. Or wait, yes, Sydney, Sydney did that one. Um, so that one's up on Sydney's channel if you would like to hear our full thoughts. Um, but that is the end of this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a great time and I will see you in our next one. Bye.